Shelton for men of a certain age. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. So am I supposed to just talk? Yes. About what? Who are you going to be kidding me? What this award means to me is, um, you know, it's. I think it's. It's a. It's a joy to direct. It's um, an honor to be able to do it and to get paid for it and to make a living out of it. There are far too Afri too few African American females that are out there. I can't even list um, a dozen of them. So what this award means is that if there's anybody out there who's inspired by this, who can then go up and become a female director, then it, it means that I've done my work and I've done my job. But uh, it's great to be here and be amongst what is family and to uh, be able to be honored for something that we love to do and something that is not easy to do. And there's a lot of barriers up and we're kicking down walls. Yes. Honestly, if you don't have family that's in this industry, I think the best place to start is, is learning your craft. So go to school. There's a lot of schools that teach you the basic fundamentals on storytelling. I mean, I went to NYU and got a graduate degree, and while I was doing that, I started directing music videos. And after that, then I decided I want to direct a movie, and now I want to do television. And I shadowed a director for three years, Paris Barkley, who was also nominated in the same category as myself, and um, got my first break. And from there, I've been and directing. So I think it is learn your craft is the first step. Get an education, learn your craft. Then I think you have to get thick skin. Um, a, a, an actor that I loved working with, Bernie Mac, on my first episode of that show, I mean, he gave me a really, really hard time. Every day he was on me. And at the very end of the shoot, he came up to me and said, I really like you, you have thick skin. And then hired me back. And so just goes to show you never really know if someone's out there testing you, if what their intentions are, and you have to sort of put on, being a woman, being an African-American woman, um, I think you really have to believe in yourself, hone your talent, put on your blinders, and keep shooting for the stars. I like to tell any story with, with um, great characters. So um, I don't know. I think that's pretty open to a lot of stuff. I love telling. Just like there's a there's a there's not a lot of African American female directors. I don't think there's a lot. There's not a lot of African American female actresses in lead roles. So I would love to direct a powerful African American female actress in a, in a lead part with a great character with a an arc that's got a beginning and end and a, you know and a middle and it's got all sorts of nuances and it's her world. I would love it. I mean I would I would relish that. So yeah, absolutely. Last question. I'm sorry, what? Can the character exist? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think mainstream America, I think everyone undersells mainstream America. I think if something is done well and the, the story is well developed and well told and the character is real and it touches us and it relates to us, which has nothing to do with the color of your skin, I think the mainstream America will, will respect and respond it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.